Hi friends, this is Simran. A very warm welcome to all of you in my channel, The Recipe Hut. In this video, let's learn how to make oat milk. It's vegan and gluten free, so it's perfect for people with milk, soy, or nut allergies. And it's super simple to make. You just need one cup of rolled oats, two dates for sweetness, but it's completely optional, and four cups of water. In a blender, add rolled oats. I do not prefer to soak the oats overnight because it makes it a little slimy. I'm adding one and a half cups of water right now and the remaining two and a half cups I'll be adding later on. Now we need to blend this for 20 to 30 seconds or till it becomes a smooth consistency. I like my oat milk to be a little bit sweet so I'm adding two dates and I'll be blending it again for a few more seconds. You can add the dates along with the oatmeal and water or if you want you can completely skip it. After blending it for 30 to 40 seconds or till it is completely smooth, we'll pour it in a nut milk bag and add the remaining 2.5 cups of water. If you like your oat milk to be a little thick, you can add 3 cups of water instead of 4. And now we are going to twist it and squeeze out all the oat milk. If you are not allergic to nuts, you can also add 7 to 8 cashews while blending it and that will also make your milk very creamy. After squeezing out all the oat milk nicely, the solids that are left behind is all the fiber. You can store it in a container and keep it in the freezer. You can use it while baking or you can also use it while making oatmeal pancakes. Oat milk lowers blood cholesterol, prevents anemia and boosts immunity. Plus, if it is homemade, it's free from added sugars, preservatives and additives. And it's very economical. It doesn't have a very long shelf life, but it can easily last in the refrigerator for 3-4 to four days. Friends, do give this delicious and healthy drink a try. And if you try, do not forget to tell us in the comments how it turned out for you. Thumbs up if you've liked the video, subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get an update when I upload a new recipe. Thanks for watching.